everybody, and welcome to Art with Miss B. I'm so excited about today because guess what we're going to draw? I bet you can't guess. <laughs> That's right, a fox. But before we start drawing, let's read a book about a fox. A Fox Found a Box by Jed Adamson. The fox was searching. Somewhere under the snow, there was food. And to find it, he had to dive in. Again! And again! Ouch! This didn't look like food. But what was in it? Nobody seemed to know. I think it's a box, said Al. <laughs> There was a stick on top that moved. There were round things on it that looked interesting. What if I just... The box is singing, chirped the birds. The animals began to swish their tails, flap their wings, and move their feet. It felt nice. Every day, they would listen to the box. Sometimes the music made them feel dreamy. Sometimes it made them feel sort of sad. Sometimes it made them want to walk out. And every night, the box's music filled the forest. Until one morning, the box stopped singing. The animals poked it. Fox tried burying it. And digging it up. He thought that maybe the box was too cold. Fox tried warming it up. But nothing would make the box sing again. Then something happened. Fox heard a sound. It went trip drop, trip drop. His ears twitched, his tail swished. Trip drop, trip drop. One paw tapped, then the other. Trip drop. Fox's whole body moved to the trip drop beat. Now the other animals heard the forest too. The whoosh, whoosh of the wind. The chitter chatter of geese. <laughs> The crunch, crunch of snow underfoot. And the gurgle, gurgle of the river. They started to notice everything. The smell of the pine trees, the falling snow, the beautiful view. And every night, the animals would nestle down, close their eyes, and let the forest sing them to sleep. It felt nice. The end. Okay, it's time to start drawing. So make sure you have a piece of paper, a pencil with an eraser, and something to outline with, and any kind of art supplies like crayons or markers that you want to color with.
phone. Now, don't forget to add a background and color your fox in with any art materials you have. Thanks for joining me for Art with Miss V. I'll see you next time.